Hi YouTube, this is Emerald Plum coming to you with my intro video. I um, just wanted to kind of introduce myself and tell you a little bit about me because I'm just sort of starting out on this whole YouTube thing. Um, my name is Rebecca and I live in Southern California in San Diego right now, but I'm going to be moving up to Orange County in a couple weeks. Um, that's why my room is a mess and you're not going to get to see more than this. Um, so. I actually have another YouTube account that's sort of my main account that I actually use to subscribe and to watch. Um, I'll probably start merging at some point in the future, but um, that's Crochet Girl, I'll put it right here. Um, if you're interested, there's only two videos on there. One is of me cleaning my room really fast, which isn't that interesting, and the other one is of like vacation photos of my family dancing around. It, it was a long time ago. Anyway, I. Um, it's kind of inspired by all of the awesome things I see people doing on YouTube. I just really enjoy watching videos and I kind of wanted to be in on the revolution. So um, I wanted to just like upload different kinds of videos. Um, I really like, you know, just general vlog videos, um, beauty tutorials, and like Let's Plays. It's kind of an odd combination, but I've decided that one channel doesn't have to have one kind of video, so I'm probably going to start doing a Let's Play. I'm thinking of doing the Hitchhiker's Guide Text Adventure game, because it's a game I know pretty well, and it should be pretty easy to film, because my computer doesn't get good FPS. But um, So that should be coming up in the next little bit. But um, So if you're not interested in that, don't watch that. You can watch my beauty videos, or you can watch... Well, I mean, I don't know anything about makeup. Let me just put it that way. Um, I am getting into nail polish. I'm actually wearing nail polish, you can't really tell. Um, it's just like this really neat color. Um, so I'm probably going to be doing some nail videos and um, some hauls. I actually have some stuff to show you today. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do all kinds of stuff and just watch what you want. Don't watch what you don't want. Whatever. It's just for me, I'm just going to do this because it sounds like a fun thing. So um, yeah. I was sort of also inspired by my cousin, Cha Cha Cakes. I'll link her right here um, and down there. Um, her name's Teresa, and she's my mom's brother's daughter and lives out in Montana. Anyway, um, I haven't seen her in like years and years, but I started watching her YouTube channel and I was like, oh, this is so cool. If she can do it, maybe I can too. No offense. Anyway, um, so I'm going to try. Um, just sort of going out there and doing the YouTube thing. So yeah, I also wanted to get to a haul video. I told myself I wasn't going to be one of those YouTubers, but here I am. But I was just so excited. I went out today and um, got some really great deals on some stuff that I wanted to share with you. So I went to this place. It's down like half an hour from my house. It's called Vivi's Nails or Vivi's Hair and Nail Supply. It's like this discount warehouse like nail supply store that sells like all the name brand nail polishes for really cheap. Um, OPI is like four twenty five or I think it was four seventy five. Um, but China Glaze is three bucks, and then a, a bunch of stuff. So I got some a few. So I was really excited because I don't own a lot of designer or nail, name brand nail polishes because um, I'm just kind of getting into it in the last few months. But um, I got a couple things. I got this striper brush. You can see. Just like a little, oh, I've got writing on my hand, this one. Um, so that I don't have to reuse old stripers. So that should be useful for nail art. Also, dotting tools. I got dotting tools. These are $2 each. Um, there's like the, the kind of big one. And then there's like an itty bitty one. And they're fun colors. This kind of goes, so. And then I got a crystal file, um, which I've heard great things about. And it's blue, which is fun. And then I got some polishes. I got I got one OPI because I wanted to own an OPI polish. Um, this one is called uh, My Private Jet, and it's just sort of I don't know if you can see the light isn't really catching it, but it's like a chocolate brown, and in the sun it's kind of got like a copper undertone, and it's got like these holographic reflex in it. I thought it was really pretty. So um, I'll be trying that one out. It's sort of a fall color, but I like fall colors. Um, I got a China Glaze, China Glaze Black Crackle Polish because I wanted to try that out. And it was 350 
so I figured, you know, might as well. Then I got um, just a basic white on white because, as I mentioned in the other video that I made um, with the confetti nail tutorial, I don't like the white polish that I have, <coughs> the pure ice, so I wanted to get something with a better, um, a better formula, so got that one. And then some more fun colors. I got this, which is a really pretty kind of um, shimmery mauve mauve color. Um, it's called Hey Doll. It's got kind of some, I don't know, silver, I guess, glitter in there, but you can kind of see. I got this pretty light, kind of grayish light blue. It's called Kinetic Candy. I don't know what that means, but um, yeah, it's just kind of a really pale gray blue with a little bit of a green to it. Um, you know, I would have gotten like for Audrey, but I own the Wet n Wild dupes, so I wanted to get like a light blue. And I really like the grays and cream formulas, so that's that. And then I got this fun glitter top coat. This is um, Techno, which I think I've seen on some other people's YouTube videos. It's just got, you know, a couple different sizes of silver and holographic um, glitter in there. So that should be fun. I'm thinking of putting that on my toes. Um, just to kind of spice it up, I have I have this on there right now. This is a different China Glaze polish. It's um, Midnight Mission from the Vintage Vixen collection. Um, I have that on my toes, and it's got a little bit of silver in there. So I was thinking I could maybe layer it and just kind of spice up my toes because I've had it on for like a week now. Um, so there's that. Um, so that was the one store that I went to. It was like way down, half an hour to drive there. Um, but it was worth it because I saw all the rave reviews on Yelp and I was like, gotta check that out because, like I said, I'm moving in two weeks and so I kind of wanted to go and check it out while I was still in town. Um, then I went to Bed Bath, um, Bed Bath, yeah, Bath and Body Works because they're still doing their sale. Um, and so I wanted to get like some candles for the new place. We're getting an apartment in Fullerton. So um, I got this one, Passion Flower. It's kind of got some vanilla scent in it, and then just kind of a fruity, floral kind of scent. Um, I don't know what it says. It's tempting as a seduced island hideaway, a perfect blend of passion fruit, watery pear, and cassava melon, uh, with a touch of creamy coconut. Maybe that's how I smell the coconut. I don't know. I had a uh, jamba juice with a coconut milk in it. I didn't really care for it. Um, then a drenched apple flower, which, you know, it kind of smells like wax, actually, but it has just the um, apple blossom. A walk through the orchard after a spring flower, I'm sorry, spring shower, crisp Fuji apples blend deliciously with rain-soaked greens and pink lotus blossoms. So, there you go. So, I thought that would be nice to add a little ambiance to our new apartment. I got um, a fragrance mist midnight pomegranate, which smells like pomegranates but I love their you know body mists in the small ones because the other ones are like really big they retail for like 12 and so they have been like four bucks with 75% off but this one was only six dollars so it was I don't know where I put the receipt but cheaper um and small and I got a couple um body washes just for fun I got country chic and twilight woods and honestly I wasn't really able to smell them very much in the store because you know how Bath and Body Works just smells like everything. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze now. Anyway, and then I went to CVS and because I had a coupon for $1.50 off deodorant. And then I got this little eyebrow pencil thing that um, Diamonds and Heels 14 recommended this. And I've never really done eyebrow pencils before. As you can see, I've never really shaped my eyebrows. So I might want to look into figuring out how to dull that pain and figure that out because I've got some, you know, they're not that bad but I want to try to figure out how to make those look nicer. And then I just got a Wet n Wild lipstick. Um, this is Wet n Wild. Uh, it's called Bear It All or Beauté Netquelle. Um, so there's that. So that's my haul. Just throwing that out there. See how that goes. Um, it's nice to meet you guys. Sorry this video was so long. 
And um, if you're at all interested in any of the things that I will be posting, um, stay tuned and subscribe and like and comment. And I said I would never say that either. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.